Hi there, I'm just giving you my review on my two Soya water filter systems. So I've got the Micro Squeeze here, which I bought a while ago, and the Soya Mini, which I've had for ages and used loads as well. So um, I had this one, took it on quite a few hikes with me, and I keep this one as backup. But then I moved over to the Micro Squeeze, which is about an extra £10. No, not the Squeeze. Yeah, this is the Micro Squeeze, not the Squeeze. The squeeze one is a bit bigger and a little bit more robust apparently. But um, why did I swap over to this one? Yeah, which is a bit bigger. It's shorter and stubbier than this one. Um, basically the flow rate. This never failed me, I used it for quite a long time and I will keep this as backup, but it's the flow rate. So this one is much, much better. So thanks for the reviews that people did. Um, that made me buy this. So I'm gonna. I'm in my bathroom at the moment, and I'm gonna do a, a little flow rate test in a minute, so you'll see the difference, because um, that's really what matters. Um, there are some bad reports about this, but I'm not gonna be using it in sub-zero temperatures. Um, not really pushing it to the limit. So you know, hopefully in spring when we're allowed to, I'll be back out hiking again. Um, and this is much better. So um, the reason why I replaced it from this one is because the last hike I did like the two moors way it was really really hot it was like middle of summer it was really hot and I was getting to these water sources and I, you're desperately trying to gulp down water because you're so thirsty and this thing just it, the flow rate isn't great and when you try to fill up your bottles now this thing is much much better so I'll show it to you in a minute and that's the main reason um, is just the flow rate. So when you're really thirsty and you want to like knock back the water, I just found it so difficult. You're gasping for water, like and you're taking little tiny like sips sort of thing. And I just realized that when it's hot, you want something with a much, much better flow rate and also for filling up um, your water bottles as well. Now with, when you get the mini, you get this little pouch thing with it, which screws on. This is rubbish, absolutely rubbish. Uh, it's handy as a backup, but it's not very good. But when you get the squeeze, let's sort this out, you get this massive one, which is much, much better. So this is huge and it can hold a lot, 64 ounces. This is great. Um, still not a great invention, like, you know, scooping up the water, but <laughs> you blow it out like that, and then put it preferably in running water it'll fill up and you can put it in your like bladder bit in your rucksack so yeah it comes with that so i keep that as back up in the rucksack down the um, bladder bit on the inside another thing i noticed with both of these is the little ring in there you can see it more in there the white one it's like a washer like a, a rubber washer gasket type thing and um, they come off a lot so i super glued them both <laughs> just a little bit to hold them on there and i keep spare ones as well because this one, it fell off once when I was on a hike for a few days and it was like dripping out as I was walking oh, and trying to drink from it. It was a real, real pain. So just a little, few little dabs of super glue in it goes. And uh, yeah, that washer makes sure it stays in. So, so I'm gonna do, um, I'll show you the flow rate of them both. This one's fantastic, and I think if I did a long hike, say over a week, I would take this one as backup because it's really, really light. If this one broke, this one would still see me through. So, yeah, I'll do a, a flow rate test now. So here we go. I filled them both up. These are one litre bottles, um, that kind of shape of one. Um, they just screw on lovely to the thread. So it's this sort of common type bottle that you might see. So I always keep two of these, they're one litre, which is fantastic. So I take two litres with me, if I need it. Um, and they're both screwed on, so they're both filled up. Let's see if I can do this. <coughs> so the micro squeeze is on the left and the mini is on the right. They're both filled up, as you can see. Ready, go. So yeah, I think you can see the difference there. This one, I'm really squeezing hard and it's okay. It's a bit difficult against the white there. So that's really squeezing hard 
and then this one you can see the difference and when you gulp it it comes out like that as well um, but they're getting pretty empty now I didn't really bother timing it I think you can just see the difference in oh there they're falling to bits hang on yeah this one the uh, micro squeeze is half empty now all right so let's give this one a bit of a hang on look at that so that's my very unscientific test that's nearly empty now the labels falling off yeah um so i would say it's sort of like double roughly it's double the rate of this one this one's okay sorry it's not focusing on it but when you try to suck it out when you're actually drinking from a bottle um it's not good whereas this one it's not coming out very well because it's nearly empty it's like em nearly emptied the bottle um another thing i forgot to say in the last in the front video is take a um, smart water bottle the labels come off the reason is because you can back flush with these if i show you bear with me so these are the smart water bottles you've seen that that little nozzle there come on focus there i'm just using my phone i'm not very pro so on both the sawyers i presume the uh, squeezers are that goes in there lovely and you can back flush back flush it out so that's just the air pushing it out so if you don't know what back flushing is, it's just to get all the sediments out and stuff over time. It just keeps it clear. So every now and then, just back flush it. If you've been using it a lot throughout the day, then back flush it with some clean water or whatever. And it just gets rid of the deposits and uh, prolongs the life of the filter. Now these things can go on and on and on and on for ages, like a lifetime, I think. So that's why I like them. So yeah, this one, the flow rate is much better. This one's very good, but I prefer this one now. And I will take this one as backup. I forgot to say as well about Sawyer. They're a fantastic company. They do tons and tons for charity as well. Um, I should have said this in the introduction. Um, the whole point of these things, I think was for like third world countries for, for water, uh, so they could get access to water. You know, you can drink from a muddy puddle with these things and it kills, all, well, it doesn't let any parasites through. So. Sawyer is an amazing company. I've heard some great things about them and they do loads and loads and loads uh, for charity in third world countries. So yeah, big up to Sawyer. Um, but this is the one I like purely because if you're really hot and thirsty, you can gulp it down more and fill up your bottles quicker. So I hope this uh, review helped and uh, thanks for watching.